Easter is a day set aside by Christians to commemorate resurrection of someone who paid supreme price, supreme sacrifice for your sin. He was flogged, tortured, humiliated, and dishumanized before he was brutally murdered. The Bible says he responded with forgiveness. Knowing that his death will accomplish salvation for me. The hour of Christ's death was the beginning of his glorification and our redemption. To resurrect is to bring back to life somebody that had died or something that had been in a state of disuse his resurrection is our consolation and communion with him by faith in his word what do I mean? I mean, under the present sorrow, we can be comforted. There is no way you can be comforted under the present sorrow, under the present injustice, under the present difficulty and trial without your heart rise and seek the things that are above so that you may be comforted under the present sorrow under the present trial under the present trouble under the present poverty under the present injustice when we talk of resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ we are talking of the rare opportunity he has given to all believers to experience new beginning the restoration means to become alive or a new beginning the restoration is the new and incorruptible body received by those who raised from them by the power of God. His resurrection is transmitted to his followers. Giving them a glorious new existence. His resurrection is the joy to his friends. His resurrection is the joy to all true believers. His resurrection is the joy to everybody again. In the place of pain, receive the joy of resurrection. In the place of failure, receive the success of resurrection. In the place of setback and disappointment, receive the breakthrough of resurrection. In the place of poverty, receive the blessing of resurrection. Jesus has risen, therefore our heart must also rise and seek the things that are both.